Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This is on how to change Roblox privacy settings. Now, I showed you guys on another video, which I'll have a link below, how to do this on the website. This time, I'm going to show you how to do it on the mobile app. I'm going to use my Motorola Edge Android phone to do this using the Roblox mobile app and I'll show you how to do this in just a minute before we get going hit the like on this video it really helps out our channel also hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that come out with every Thursday okay we're gonna jump into this one um, like I said last week I did or actually I'm um, yeah, it, it was about a week ago I did a video on how to do it on the website now I'm gonna show you how to do it on the app so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our Roblox account or our app on our phone so we're gonna jump out of here we're gonna swipe and then this is where mine is. I'm going to tap on Roblox. And then once Roblox opens, make sure you're signed into your account. And then what you want to do once you're on home page, you should be on home page. Look to the bottom right. It says more right down here. You're going to tap on that. And then what that does is it brings up the more set, all this um, menu items in here. You're going to swipe up until you get down to settings, which is right here. So you're going to tap on the gear icon, tap it. Okay, now we're on the settings menu and you're gonna look for privacy, which is actually the third one down from the top on mine. So you're gonna tap on the arrow, boom. It takes you to the privacy settings. So this is where you can mess with all the privacy settings on your Roblox account. Um, if you wanna go to a different part of the menu, just tap this little arrow right there at the top and you can move on. But we're gonna focus on the privacy settings. And the first one is account restrictions. I um, mean, turn this on. When this setting is enabled, this account can only access content that is appropriate for all audiences. Additional communication settings will be set to off. So if you go down to the next part here, you're gonna see communication. And that's a default right now. You can turn it off if you want. I'm not going to, and that's what that option up here will do. It will turn this off. But we have our communication on since I'm over the age of 13. Uh, so we're gonna have that. You're gonna go down there, you can do who can message me. So if you tap the little arrow on the right side, it will bring you up a menu where you can go, everyone can message me, everyone, all my, fr my friends, users I follow, and my followers can, friends and users I follow, and just friends. I like to have it just on friends. I don't want them to message me, so you tap on that, and it stays there. So you can only, also another one down here, who can text chat with me in the app, same thing. Tap that arrow, um, down arrow, and it'll, you can choose one of those. Who can text chat with me, everyone right now, since that's in the games, I don't mind that. So we scroll down some, connect with your with contacts. This is um, the contacts on your phone. So if you wanted to connect this, Roblox uses your contacts to help you and your contacts find each other on Roblox. I don't want to have my phone number connected here, so this one I recommend not doing, but if you're okay with it, you tap add a phone, you can go through the process. I'm not gonna show you how to do that on this video. You're gonna scroll down some more. See that here it says allow access to device contact. I'm not going to do that. That turns that on. And what it says here is Roblox will periodically sync your device contacts to give you the most up-to-date recommendations. So they'll constantly check yours and we're not doing this for my thing. Ad preferences, I don't think it was here last time I was doing this. I did an um, article on this, so you, this is not going to be going, we're not going over this this time. You can turn those on and off if you want. Um, the other settings is which one, what I want to go over is who can make a member of their who can make me a member of their private um, server. Same thing. Tap that, and you can choose one. I leave it as friends. Who can join me in experience, which is the games? You can tap this and choose them, just like you did for all these. Can be done this way. Update friends about my activity. I don't like to let my friends know about my activity. <laughs> so you tap that. It says yes or no. I say no. Who can see my inventory? Everyone. And, and now, I don't ever use that. You can actually change that if you want, but that's the settings on there. So that's all the settings, except for this bottom one, which is if you want to deactivate your, or, and dele deletion of your thing. So you can deactivate it, which we can do, but this is not running. You can look at this if you want, but the settings are main, the main settings up here is the one I was talking about. Other settings and add the phone and the communication settings. So that's how you do that on your mobile Roblox app. And I'm using the Motorola Edge Android phone showing you how to do that here. But that's how you do it. If you change anything, let's say we change this real quick. Let's say no one and it automatically saves. So that's all you have to do. It's an automatic thing. You don't have to push a button to change anything. But that's how easy it is to 
change Roblox privacy settings. Thanks for watching, guys, on app. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.